Guys, how the devil are you? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to quite a monumentous day for me because this is the the first Let's Play that I've actually recorded in quite a while that isn't going to be a super fast Let's Play, this is going to be a full Let's Play. Um, I have been playing Enter the Dungeon, I've not played too much of it, uh, I still suck at it, so it will definitely be a, uh, whoops, I've accidentally went into the dungeon, so I'll just chat away as uh, it loads up here. Um, yeah, I have been playing a bit of it, but I haven't unlocked very much, and I do very much still suck at the game, so it is definitely going to be um, a bit of a learning curve. Uh, as we go. I do plan on doing uh, regular videos on this. I am actually aiming for daily. I'm hoping uh, to do daily videos on it. And yeah, I mean this game is it's definitely shaping up to be one of my favourites of the year anyway. Um, I will tell you how good it is actually. I got uh, Dark Souls on uh, Dark Souls Free, sorry, on Saturday, so four days uh, before it was released, and this game has actually made me, on a couple of occasions, stop playing Dark Souls uh, to actually have a couple of runs at it. And to put you in the picture, I love Dark Souls more than I love my own mother. So yeah, it's quite a big deal for any game um, to be loved enough by me to make me stop playing Dark Souls. So yeah, that is how much I like this game. But just like Isaac, um, I <laughs> I loved Isaac, uh, I still do love Isaac, still play it uh, fairly regularly, but I suck at it. And it's the, the same idea here. Ooh, I've never actually seen an enemy take cover before, that is um, something I don't know, a, a new patch has just came out right enough, so it could be something new, or it could just be something uh, that I haven't noticed yet. Um, so yeah, this is actually shaping up to be pretty decent for me. I've actually not took a hit yet. I usually do take an early hit, um, usually through my own stupidity of forgetting that I actually have a dodge roll button. Um, the tutorial actually drills it into your cranium. Uh, that you have a dodge roll button, and yeah, I keep forgetting all the time. Uh, keep forgetting to use it. I'm probably going to need it here. Uh, so if you haven't uh, experienced this game yourself yet, it is uh, pretty much a rogue uh, like game with um, randomly generated dungeons. I've never actually been past the second floor yet, that is how uh, difficult I'm actually finding it. Uh, but before you judge me too harshly, as much as I've wanted to uh, play this game, I haven't put nearly as much time... Uh, oh dear goodness! <laughs> I haven't put in nearly as much time as what I would like to. Uh, I've actually spent more time watching uh, other people play it, I've been watching uh, Northern Lion play it, and thankfully, unlike Isaac, uh, he's not actually too good at this game either, so um, he's making me feel a bit human, because whenever I watch these uh, Binding of Isaac videos, I always felt so uh, inferior, but no, he's, um, he's getting better right enough, but he's not super human at this game just yet, so that is uh, pleasing. Uh, yeah! So I have ooh, uh, very much been enjoying myself with this game, and I dare say that I will for quite some time to come. And uh, I will be recording it all. I'm going to aim for a daily video um, with when possible, and um, each video will probably, depending on how well I do or how badly I do, it'll either be one run per video or two, depending how much I suck. Sense of direction for 35, I don't have 35. Yeah, I haven't found any chests yet. Uh, this is just the bog standard shotgun. Um, and this is a blank. Uh, I have two blanks, I've not used it. I keep forgetting I've got blanks to use as well. 
Um, so yeah, let us... I keep forgetting, what, uh, I'm playing on the controller, uh, the Xbox controller. I keep forgetting what uh, button is actually the map. Hello, map. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to find it. What button is the map? Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, I don't actually need it now because I've got the room with an empty room. Uh, yeah, I'm playing. Uh, I have been playing on uh, keyboard and mouse actually, uh, but I'm playing on the controller while recording uh, simply because my uh, microphone is actually too big for. Jeez Louise, sir! Leave me alone. Uh, my microphone's actually too big to sit on my desk as well as my keyboard, so it's one or the other. And uh, I think I've made the right decision because I'm actually doing better with the, the controller than what I usually do um, with the, the keyboard and mouse, so maybe that's saying something. Maybe this is how I should continue in the future. It is, uh, whoa, I was just about to say it is uh, very unusual for me not to have taken a hit yet. And then I take a hit. That's just uh, me all over, isn't it? It's just typical. But there we go, we have taken our first hit, so maybe I can relax a bit. And here is a chest, and I've no keys. Oh, I do have a key. Let's get it open, and what is that? That is a backup gun, watch your back. I wonder if that is just how it sounds. Uh, how do you change guns on the controller? See, I really should have researched this beforehand. I think that might actually be a passive. Let's just jump in here. It is a passive. Um, there we go. Uh, what's your back? Another incredible use of tape in the gungeon. This backward facing gun has been charmed to fire in solidarity with any equipped, equipped gun. That's good. So if I fire, yeah, I fire out the back as well now. Woohoo! Happy days. So that is a, a new uh, passive for me. I've not seen that one yet. I haven't really found too many, um, what do you call it, uh, synergies. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at the map and see, yeah, I've still got plenty of rooms to go to, so let's do that first before we go into the boss. Uh, I haven't found actually too many synergies yet for between guns and uh, passes, so as I say, I, as far as uh, my play is concerned, I am very much in the infancy. So yeah, join me in this wonderful adventure of Enter the Gungeonness. And another chest, I don't have any keys. I may purchase one in the shop for that. And I may not, we will decide closer to the time. So apart from watching um, Northern Lions, ooh, is that a blunderbuss? It is! Woohoo! Uh, shoots anything. Happy days. And there we go. So I do know how to change weapons now. That so that is a uh, that is something I have learned in this video. Uh, aside from watching Northern Lions videos, I haven't looked up any spoilers or anything like that. So I don't know if there's any such thing as um, timed rewards, the same as Isaac, as in like a boss rush mode for. Uh, getting to a certain point quickly, or this room seems very bare, doesn't it? There was no enemies in there. All right, where to now? Have I fully explored? Now there was a chest. Do I want to go purchase a key, a key for that chest? Let us see. Uh, twenty-five. Uh, yeah, go on then. Go on then. I think that just takes us back to where we were, doesn't it? Uh, Alright, let's teleport. It doesn't really matter, we were about the same distance, weren't we? Alrighty. So let's go open this chest and then we will go fight our first boss. And I wonder who it will be. Uh, what is that? Is that a Huntsman Axis of Evil? That sounds amazing, actually. Alright, where is the boss room? Here it is. And... Let's go. Uh, let's test this out actually first. Ooh, 
So it is pretty. Oh, so it does have a melee attack while reloading. So that is uh, good to know. Now this is a boss that I've fought a couple of times. It is the big bird. Uh, what's it called? Gatlin something, isn't it? I can't remember. But uh, this is the boss that seems to come up most for me on the first floor. Uh, Gatling goal, that was it. What hit me there? Something hit me, didn't it? Ah! Damn it! I rolled right into that. Oh, was it uh, one of those chain things fell on me, was it? Um, what I would say is, when I do mess up in this game, it is usually through my own stupidity. Uh, let's try our blunderbuss for a little minute and see what kind of damage we get with that. Was that a kind of charge shot? It is, isn't it? Takes a minute to charge! Yeah, I walked right into that again. Oh dear. If I don't get past the, the first floor, I'm going to be pretty embarrassed. Not to say that I get past the first floor uh, every time, because this game is rather difficult. Let's go back to this shotgun for a little moment. It's a bit easier to control. No! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. No! No! Seriously? Ah, oh, that's embarrassing. But it's not too bad that happened to Northern Lion on um, uh, in one of his episodes as well. So I will just jump uh, straight back in and just do uh, a quick run. Now, I'm going to use... Who am I going to use? Do you know what? I have never used... Who have I not used yet? I've not used the, con the, the pilot, rather. I've used the convict and I've used it yet. Yeah, the pilot's the only one I've not used yet. So let's try this guy out and see how that goes. That was embarrassing. I do apologise. It will get better. I promise. I don't promise because I can't keep that promise. Yeah, I do suck at this game, as you can see. But bear with me, I will get better. And apologies that I keep uh, referring to... Dude, Lord! That's pretty much how most of my runs start out, by the way. I hit in the very first room. Um, apologies if I keep referring to Northern Lion, but he is the benchmark um, that I hold myself to in these kinds of games. Um, Isaac and whatnot. Uh, these grenades are an absolute pain in the butt. I'm actually finding this guy a bit harder to control than the um I can't even uh, the marine wasn't it? I'm not sure why. Do you know what is I don't think the marine is actually faces I think the marine always faces the uh, direction you're aiming, this guy appears to face the direction that you're moving, is that a thing? Or am I imagining it? Is that a thing? Let me know in the comments. If you're more pro than I am, which uh, wouldn't be hard by the way. I do ask you to bear with me though, because I will be super pro very soon. Um, yeah. So as well as playing this, I've also been playing uh, Dark Souls 3. Been loving it. Uh, for me personally, it is up there with uh, Dark Souls 1 so far. Um, I've not finished it yet. I'm not too far away. Um, so yeah. I will be doing a Let's Play at some point. I have yet to decide what format that will be in. Whether it will be a super fast one. And I am also... Ow. 
I am also considering actually waiting until all the game, all the DLC has been out. Um, I'm pretty much just enjoying the game for myself at the moment. And good lord. And I'm loving it as I said. Uh, I would recommend it, heavily recommend it, sorry, to anyone who was on the fence about getting it. Especially if you've played a Souls game before. Now, my order of preference for the Souls game so far has been Dark Souls 1, number 1, um, then Demon Souls, then Bloodborne if you would consider it a Souls game, and then... What is that? Ooh, item capacity up. And then Dark Souls 2 at the very end. Uh, so far with Dark Souls 3, I would put it either first or second. I am really, really enjoying it. And do you know what my favourite uh, addition to Dark Souls 3 is actually? And it's not a gameplay related thing. Well, it is in a way, uh, but it is actually the Herald uh, starting class. Because it just complements my place, it sets up for my playstyle so well. Because I generally main a, a spear and lance wielding a Sunbro, and the Herald starts with decent faith and a spear. So, how cool is that? Uh, it does lack a bit of damage actually compared to the other starting classes, right enough. But the same as with uh, any other Souls game, that can be addressed. I have found the boss room. Not that I want to find that just now, because um, my last attempt at the boss room ended pretty badly. Didn't it? Yeah. Ooh, what's this? A shrine to a forgotten bullet who laid down his arms. Will you... I guess I'll walk away because I can't, I can't do anything. This um, character is definitely controlling different uh, to the other ones. Uh, is that in my imagination? Please let me know. Obviously I'll find out for myself <laughs> at some point. Uh, if I remember to check right enough, but yeah, I don't think... I think this character actually... Uh, looks the way that you're moving and the rest of them all look the way that you are aiming. I think that is actually a thing. What is this? This is a Mac 10 and I am one... Um, what would you call the currency in this game? Bullets! I am one bullet short. And there it is up there. Ah! Alrighty, so I do have enough to go get that gun, and I will take it because um, I'm not sure the starting gun will do me. Good lord, that will be good against the Gatling gun, uh, the Gatling gull, if that is what I do come up against. It generally has been that in the first floor for me. Um, Who's the other one I've had? Uh, King Bullet, I think. So I will keep that ammo just now. Now this is a mistake that I do make fairly often, I will say to myself. Um, I'm going to keep this uh, the ammo and this gun for such and such a time. Uh, whether it be the boss or more condensed rooms. And then I die and I don't get to use it. So yeah, that is a thing that happens to me fairly often. Alrighty. Ooh. Uh oh. Do not get yourself stuck in corners. That is a uh, pro tip number one. Um, I know you can flip tables and stuff to use um, use them as cover. Personally, I find it best just to keep moving, but. Um, each to their own and all that. Alright. Okay, so where to now? 
Have I just got the boss room to go? It certainly looks like it. Yep. Alright, um, there is a chest there. Shall I see if I can afford a key? I don't think I can. I think it's 25, isn't it? 21. Ah, well. Um, boss it is then. And let's try out our super duper Mac 10. And let's see what boss we've got this time. It is uh, King Willet. I think that's his name. I've had this guy before. Bullet King, I got it round the wrong way. I can't believe I took two, three hits there! Jeez! I am the worst. Enter the Gungeon player ever. Alright, new tactics, new tactics. Oh, that fire certainly lasts a while, doesn't it? Oh, jeez louise. I suck. I do apologise. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. Um, I know you're not exactly going to be impressed with what you see, but please join me um, in the very near future, probably tomorrow, uh, for more Enter the Gungeon. And I promise I will improve. I promise. Thanks very much for watching. If you haven't already, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It means a lot to me and helps the channel grow. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.